Welcome to the Na Viking tutorials. I'm Johannes Gudmundsson, founder of Anecta, a Microsoft Dynamics NAV Gold certified partner. We are still working with account schedules and um, there's a lot of things you can do with account schedules. Um, so that's why it takes uh, several videos to go over sort of uh, the main points. Uh, today, what I wanted to do is keep going on budgeting and we want to budget dimensions, which is really interesting. Uh, normally we budget uh, GL accounts, that's kind of the standard stuff. But GL accounts are n not very good to budget uh, when you're working with, for example, sales. Because uh, sales doesn't think in GL accounts, they might think in salespeople or in areas, sales channels, uh, geography, something like that. So not really like the way the GL is structured. So this is a good reason to use um, uh, dimensions. It could be used for many other things. So what I have, if I just go into where we're at, um, I, I'm right here into account schedules. And uh, just to show you what a normal one is, um, we have this coffee mug income statement. If I take a look at that, it just shows GL accounts with a balance. And we had created something um, with budget column layout. And so we could see the net change for uh, a period and plus the budget here on the side. So, so we got this column layout here. Um, on the GL accounts and these are all GL accounts here. Now what I also did in one video is I collapsed these uh, sales retail accounts here domestic EU and export into one GL account and I made those dimensions domestic EU and export. So if I go into that one that's here the new retail statement and take a look at the overview you can see that I am only looking at sales retail domestic sales retail export and sales retail eu these are dimensions these are not gl accounts they are all coming from one gl account which is the uh, um, the 4450 gl account but they are separated out by dimensions you can see the balance here is different so what i want to do now is for dimensions set up a budget uh, so i'm not budgeting the gl or I'm only budgeting, let's say, one GL account. But within that one GL account, I am going to budget dimensions. All right. So the journey continues. I will go into um, budgets right here. And I had created a 2018 budget for, uh, uh, just take a look at this quickly. This is for just GL accounts. But I don't want to do that now. I want to create another one. And I'm just going to call that C CMD for dimensions. 2018 budget coffee mug dimensions. Uh, and in here, I have to select the dimension. So if I want to budget in dimensions, I select the dimensions here, which one <clears throat> which ones I want to work with. And inside one budget, we are allowed to have four dimensions. Okay, but you can pick any dimension. It can also be, it doesn't have to be a shortcut dimension necessarily. Um, all right, so here I had created sales channel as a dimension. And in this case, I'm only budgeting that one, right? All right, so hit OK. And here I have that as it's created. And if I go into edit budgets, uh, I, of course, get the view again that um, that I have GL accounts across uh, down as rows and as columns, I have um, quarters or periods. So what I want to do here, I don't want to put in a, a budget number for the GL account. Remember, I'm budgeting only dimension. So I can actually change here, show as lines. And I can say, okay, I want to show the sales channel as lines. And now my dimensions come up. And I can actually budget. So actually, I do have to be careful here. The thing is, if I put in numbers here right now, 
for these dimensions, the system doesn't know for which GL account uh, this budget is. So it has to be also tied to a GL account. And this is tied to a GL account, it's tied to the sales account. So we have to down here specify the GL account. And I'm going to just find the one I actually attached the dimension to. Sales retail, right here. So I had collapsed these three accounts into that GL account and then used dimensions to post into it. Um, and so when I'm budgeting, I'm technically budgeting this account, which is sales retail. And within that, I'm specifying dimensions. So it's important that I actually select that over here in GL account filter. Then whatever I enter in here is going to come in proper. I have to do that before I enter in any data. So it's a little bit of a technicality, but it's super important. All right, so when we budget here, so let's say we have negative uh, 100,000, um, uh, negative 50,000, and negative 25,000, and then 100, oops, negative 120,000, uh, negative 60,000, and negative 30,000. Let's say we just do quote two quarters here. Okay, so now I've budgeted the dimensions and I budgeted them with this filter. So if I go out of here and I go into uh, the role center and go back into analysis and account schedules, I can go into my new retail uh, statement right here and hit overview. And so I had actually created, uh, I'm looking at balance only here, but in the previous video, I created something called budget, um, special budget for coffee mug, coffee mug budget right here. And I'm using the same column layout here. So if you are wondering how that is set up, just go to the previous video. You can see how that's set up. Uh, just quick look at that. Uh, I'm just specifying net change and budget and all I have to do is pick entries in here and budget entries here on the ledger entry type. So uh, just hit OK, enter. And so now uh, I have to put in the, let me see, GL budget filter right here. And you just make sure that I am the correct year. Ah. Okay, so there is one other thing that I actually need to do, which I forgot. <laughs> and this is technology as, technicality as well. So if I go into the account statement here or the uh, account schedule, there is something here called CM test. And if I go into that, that's the analysis view that is attached to the account schedule. So I noticed before, I didn't get my budget in there. I was kind of wondering, where was it? Uh, and then I remembered, oh wait, yes. I have to make sure that my analysis view that I have attached to account schedules includes budgets. Again, it's a technicality, so um, you just have to come in here. It's a very simple one. We just created it. We uh, selected the dimension in here and I check off include budgets. I'll just update it uh, and then close out. And hopefully that should fix my issue. Uh, so if I go back here, I select the um, coffee mug budget right here. Oops, I always check on this and now it comes in. And again, I have to make sure that I'm working with a proper budget. So I select that here in the filter and I'm looking at the year and that's why the numbers are so high. If I would have been looking at the quarter and I'll go back into a quarter that actually has something, you can see the numbers here. I have some post-its and the budget 
the next period here there's nothing posted all right so the important part part here that i actually missed um and it was educational is the analysis view the analysis view is so important when it comes to dimensions it is kind of the engine that drives dimensions from the uh from the entries perspective so that always needs to be set up correctly and i will actually go into a whole series into analysis views but just to remember if you go here into analysis view name and take a look at that it has to include budgets all right i hope that uh, explained something for you and how to actually set up budgets for dimensions dimensions are very powerful and i encourage everybody to start using them uh, they collapse your chart of accounts into uh, much fewer accounts and they're very uh, they're much better to handle um, than the and more understandable than, than the uh, chart of accounts thanks for taking the time to watch this video as always, we welcome any questions or suggestions, um, so leave comments or, of course, if you can subscribe, that would be awesome. Uh, we are trying to build our fan base over here at Anacta. And uh, if you want to look for further information, please go to anacta.com.